welcome to all in mature engineering youtube channel so today in this lecture we are discussing about the engineering material and metallurgy this is the second year mechanical engineering subject in this unit we are discussing about the some important topic related to end semester exam okay so first is unit number 3 in this unit number 3 the title is the crystal structure and material properties and its characterization so in this unit we can see here some important topic i already given and for the next slide i given some eight, eight exam point of view some important question how can they are asked in examination the question type related to this topic okay first one we are discussing about the some important topics okay so in this unit the important topic is first one is the uh, unit cell structure crystal structure so in this first one is the sc that is the center cubic after that the bcc okay and fcc and sometimes they are ask sc hcp okay this is the four important topic based on that we first draw the uh, crystal structure diagram after that based on this topic we can derive the equation and the prove the area how can the find out by using this equation okay the second is the miller indices in this miller indices uh, they are given in the question like some uh, uh, miller indices diagram in that we can find out the miller indices how can the determine this is the numerical asked from 7 to 8 mark after that the third topic is the crystal defect in this crystal defect the sum is the vacancies then delocation and gas boundary okay the first one is the vacancies the vacancies is means suppose uh, consider one class any one class of, of the student is going to the outside of the class means in that class the some vacancies is created like that in the material if you are consider, considering some material in that material suppose four element or atom is present one atom is going from outside of that material crystal structure means suppose this is the atom okay consider as a a suppose a is outside of that material crystal structure so in that location the vacancies is create this is called as the vacancy defect so this kind of uh, this kind of defects are asked okay after that dislocation dislocation means suppose considering one the crystal structure in that the location of the molecule or atom is the same manner if the some atoms or some molecules are in entering in that crystal structure meet the location of that material or atoms or molecule is dislocated this is called as the dislocation of that atom after that gain of gain boundary gain boundary means suppose any material the structure is the boundary in that boundary the material is exist if there uh, the there the gray structure is changes or it is becomes proper pure gray structure then it is called as the gain boundary so these are important topics after that the diffusion diffusion uh, again classification of diffusion vacancies and interstitial after that the nta what is the eddy current ultrasonic sonic x ray based on this topic you need to first draw the diagram write the working after that the application advantage and disadvantage after the microscopic same i already told you this pattern again microscopic then esm etm you can draw after that the uh, last one is the flow lines and spark test the question type of in this unit is asked basically so first is the define miller indices and explain the step to determine the miller indices so what you are trying to solve the miller indices problem so in that need to the explain how you can solve step and based on that numerical is asked after that the draw and explain bcc fcc hc and one is the sc this is the four types of the material structure so based on that derivation is asked after that the crystal structure impact point line and surface defects these are the three important topic after that the explain the vacancies and diffusion already i told you the vacancy and defect suppose considering one the metal in that molecules are arranged in the regular position if one atom is the outside of that crystal structure then at that position the vacancy is created okay so that is the vacancy defect after that the interstitial defect means one atom is outside of that instead of that atom the another atom is present it is called as the instantaneous diffusion so it is also important topic okay this is the most important three three to four question the university is asked repeatedly but sometimes 
uh, the frequently means uh, sometimes they are asked with the different question like the simple presentation and microscopic uh, testing presentation like the microscopic ultrasonic sonic x-ray like that after that the explain the principle and application of SEM TEM first you try to understand these two topics based on that you can try to write down the differentiate between them because then you are attempting the question so it can be the easy to differentiate that and according to that you can explain this topic okay after that the explain principle and application of x-ray that is the radiography okay after that the different testing that is ultrasonic eddy current try to write down the differentiate and explain it according to you okay then after that the spark test this is also important this is related to unit number one okay after that the unit number two the unit number two is the phase diagram and ion carbon carbon diagram so in that this is the important topic related to end semester examination okay but in that the ask the question is the question type is first one most important this question is 100% come into the university examination because this is the most important topic without this topic the end semester examination is not prepared so to try to do the this question that is the ion carbon diagram this is equilibrium diagram for ion carbon diagram okay after that the eutectic eutectic and pretectic this is the three reaction based on that reaction topic the reaction is come and explained by using the uh, ion carbon diagram okay after that the solid solution what is mean by the solid state solution and explain this type based on this unit already the full explanation video is present on our youtube channel okay after that the state and explain the rodri rules the rodri rules and based on that four parameter is come in the end semester examination so this is also one important topic okay after that the gibbs phase rule and based on that there are two rules that is the p plus t is equal to uh, s plus 1 and instead of 1 you can write down the 2 okay this is the 2 method based on that the gibbs phase rule is asked okay after that the cooling curve and pure metal based on the uh, cooling curve you can must to draw for pure metal then uh, solid liquid and all metals type okay after that the last question is nucleation and crystal growth how nucleation is happened then type of nucleation that is the homogeneous and heterogeneous heterogeneous it should be calm okay so after that the unit number three this is about unit number two okay but the last uh, the third one is the unit number three that is the heat treatment process it is also important this is the some important topics come in end semester examination based on that i can explain some uh, basic question okay so first win is the explain ttt and ccd curve okay based on that by using the diagram explanation and how they can use or uh, by using that how can they solve problems this asked the try to do this differentiate between by using diagram application working and advantage and disadvantage okay after that the hard hardenability and the uh, how can the determine means uh, the hardness of the any material how can determine what is mean by the hardness and how can do, you can try to determine the any material hardness testing okay after that the annealing process the annealing process means what sometimes we are hitting the material after the some time the uh, material crystal structure will be the change then how can change the annealing process you need, need to explain in that you need to explain the full process how annealing can be the drawn okay after that the some uh, three to four step how can the uh, annealing is happen okay so you need to explain that okay after that the normalizing normalizing also in the heat treatment process this is also need to explain okay after that the hardening tempering process difference and explanation is important okay after that the uh, martin site and austin period asked tempering this is the two phase diagram explained with the their uh, gray structure or a material structure at this position okay then last one is the surface hardening process in that carburizing nitrine flame and induction this is the four types are asked based on that this is the most important okay in that the carburizing nitrogen and flame this is the arc frequently repeatedly okay after that the unit number five okay sorry unit number four in unit number four the title is ferrous material so in that unit 
this is the important some topics related to carbon structure, uh, structure, their material, alloy, tools. But in this, out of that, the some important question asked repeatedly. First one is the classification of the steels with their composition, preparation. Composition means suppose uh, I am considering one steel. Okay, how? The steel is made up of some A plus B material, okay? Then percentage of A material, percentage of B material, it is nothing but the composition of material to prepare that any alloy or any, any type of material, okay? So some, some reference book or textbook in the different times, the classification of steel or carbon is different. Try to refer the some reference book or research paper for the classification for this only question, okay? The classification of carbon steel, okay? Because sometimes some different textbook or different classification is given. After that, the effect of the alloying element that is chromium, Ni, magnesium, and the MO that is okay, magnesium. This is the some material, their effect, alloy, their composition, advantage, disadvantage. It, it should be right. Okay, after that, the classify the cast iron white, grey, then uh, ESG. This is the three to four cast iron. Okay, based on that, you need to draw the grey structure, their material composition, and explanation. Okay, after that, the uh, explain the sensitization of the stainless steel. In the sensitization, the sensitization, how can the happen? The process and advantages, disadvantages, it should be right in this question. Okay. After that, the ISE and A, uh, ESAE. This is the sum uh, designation standards to determine any type of material. Okay. After that, the uh, white microstructure and their properties of the cast iron. This is also important. This is related to this topic. Okay. This is and this is almost similar. Okay. This is our some important topic related to the ferrous material in this unit number four and the last one unit is like unit number five the unit number five is based on the non-ferrous material okay this is the last unit in this unit some important topic classification what is the age hardening and what out of that this is some important question asked in the end semester examination okay the first one is the age hardening what is mean by age hardening explain by using their next sketch diagram and write down the application and advantage and disadvantage okay after that the composition and the properties this is the some prop uh, Composition based on that, how they can prepare their composition, advantage, property, application, and disadvantages should be right. Okay, after that, the aluminium alloy, and this is the sub aluminium alloy types. Explain this type by using composition, property, advantage, and disadvantage. Okay, after that, the nickel alloy, same inward and inconal. This is the repeatedly asked the question. This one is the and this one. Okay. This is 100% come in the examination. Okay. After that the titanium